another guy coming on stage for the first time in his life. Just enjoy, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dan Malone. Come on, Dan Malone! Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? How are you? Good. So I used to work on chimneys, and I found a dead squirrel. And I showed the homeowner, look. And she said, oh, you know, how much is this going to cost me? And how did it die? And I said, well, the removal is only $39. And she said, okay. But the autopsy is going to be 350 <laughs> And if you want to know how the squirrel grew up and where he came from, for 200 more, I'll put him on squirrelancestry.com. <laughs> this one time, I'm at home, and i got to do my own chimney. So I opened it up, and I pulled on some loose bricks, and the whole wall fell down, and inside was a human skeleton. And my wife comes over and she's running around screaming her head off. And I'm going, oh man, this is not the way I wanted her to meet my first wife. <laughs> Let's talk about play dates. I hate them. I just want to drop my son off for a few hours and wave goodbye. No, they're calling me in. I got to hang out with the dad. And you know what that's going to be like. So last Tuesday, there was a dad. I hated that guy. He had a real problem. He didn't want to share. And then he ate all my snacks. So last Sunday, I told my wife, is he on that video game? He's been on for six hours. Go up there and get him off that Fortnite video game. Because if I go up there, I'm taking the whole thing out. So she comes down and says, okay, he's off. Are you happy? I said, finally, it's my turn. <laughs> so my daughter just turned 18, and she's been telling me, I want to get a tattoo. So I said, oh boy, fine, great, super. Let me go with you. So you don't get something too big or something you're going to regret. So I went with her. She got a cute little ribbon on her ankle. Beautiful. I ended up with a flaming giant tramp stamp. <laughs> Growing up, I was never really sure how old my mother was. I mean, she was 40 for 10 years. Now she's telling everyone that I'm her brother. Did you guys know that in the seventh grade they told me that I was the tallest they had ever seen? So I was so excited. I ran home. I told my dad the news. I said, Dad, I'm the biggest in the class. He goes, yeah, you're freaking 18. So I said, Mom, did you hear that? She says, yeah, you're supposed to be in college by now. So we've been planning out our honeymoon for 20 years now. So I said, honey, let's just go. Let's just do it. She said, I haven't decided. On what, honey? Where to go? When? If you're invited. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think that she doesn't want anything to do with me anymore. Last Friday, I said, honey, let's go to the movies. It's going to be great. She says, I'll go but there's nothing playing. And I said, there's nothing playing. For 20 years, nothing's playing? <laughs> I married an accountant. In other words, I married a calculator. She checks that credit card with a fine tooth comb. Just the other day, she says, um, wait, just a minute. What's this? I said, oh, take a look. She says, dinner at Four Seasons for two? I said, oh. That's why I decided to take Frankie for his birthday. She goes, okay, no problem. 
I guess the dozen long stem roses from 1-800-Flowers were for Frankie? <laughs> I said, oh. Thinking quickly, I said, well, do you remember when I told you that I was never really sure about him? <laughs> So my wife and kids were driving upstate, and they were in a terrible accident. She hit a deer, and she calls me crying. So I said, okay, okay. Where is the deer now? <laughs> and how big is it? She says, really? Isn't there something else you should be asking me? And I said, oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, honey, you're right, I'm sorry. It's terrible. How's the truck? <laughs> so we had a birthday party for my daughter at the house. And I went down the slide first and my pants got caught and I landed in the pool naked. So I said, I got out, I was so embarrassed. And my wife said, I saw you and believe me, nobody saw a thing. I even saw my, my Uncle Don, and I said, Don, did you see me go down? He goes, yeah. It looked like you were holding a little cannonball and the fuse was getting smaller. <laughs> so just the other day, I said, honey, are we okay? She says, you still live here? <laughs> she says, fine, let's go to the movies. You guys have been great, thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a nice guy, but if you listen to his act, he murdered his first wife. <laughs>